Go, go. Hi, today we're doing project number 37. It is a start, stop, dog, uh, two button station with a selector switch. Um, well, uh, the definition of jogging according to NEMA is the quick, quickly repeating closure of, of a circuit to start a motor from a resting position uh, for the purpose of accomplishing small movements of the driven machine. So today the driven machine is going to be an ACGC universal motor. And we're going to use this start-stop station and this selector switch. Uh, jogging actually means to start the motor from uh, with short jabs of power at full voltage. And today using this selector switch uh, to break the connection to the holding contact. And that's how we're going to get this to jog. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our black wires and we're going to connect it to L1, my L1 terminal. And I'm going to take a second black wire and also connect this to my L1 terminal. I'm going to take one of the wires that have gone to my L1 terminal and connect it to a normally open contact, uh, uh, rather a normally open holding contact. I checked these earlier to make sure that they were normally open by taking my probes from my meter and holding it on either end and pressing the start button on this um, relay and it does ring out. I don't know if you can hear that, but it is ringing out. So this is normally open and I'm going to take one more black wire and connect it to the other end of this normally open holding contact and connect that in turn to my motor. One of the terminals of my motor. Okay. Now the third wire coming off of uh, the second wire coming off of the terminal one is going to go to my stop button. Now my stop button is a normally closed contact on my stop button here, and this is rung out so that it will already just beep without me pressing the button. That's how I know it's normally closed. So from the other terminal of my normally uh, closed stop button, I'm going to go to the normally open contact of my start button. Also, from this normally closed stop button, I'm going to go to the middle contact of my selector switch. From the what I'm going to use as the run portion of my whole my uh, uh, selector switch, I'm going to another normally open holding contact on my relay here. And from the other side of that normally closed holding contact, I'm going to go to the M coil of my relay. Now, from the other side of my normally open start button, I am also going to go to the very same portion of my M coil. And that should basically take care of the entire uh, control portion of my circuit. Now, just to end it off with line two. From line two, I'm going to the other terminal, the opposite terminal that has not been occupied, of my ACDC universal motor. From my L2, I am also going to the opposite end of my M1, hole, uh, my M1 coil. And that should cause everything to energize very well once I plug it in. I'm going to take my laboratory test cord and connect it to L1, L1 and L2, and I'm going to plug it into the receptacle. Now, hopefully when I do this, when I hit this start button, it's in the auto position, and so the 
motor should just go on by itself without stopping at, until I hit the stop button. There we go. It will stop if I hit the, uh, the stop button. Now for the jogging portion. I will turn my selector switch to one of the other two positions. Either, either of the other two positions will cause it to jog because it will be bypassing this holding contact. So it's now in a different position, and when I, it'll only stay on as long as I'm holding the button. And that's how we move it in small increments to make adjustments to this engine for whatever reason we might want to do that. So that was the entire project, and thank you for tuning in. See you next semester.